Hello everybody. Today's tutorial is going to be about creating a beautiful um, toolbar which has a very glass and shiny kind of effect. Um, so let's start by creating um, a new blank um, background. Um, this background is uh, one of my favorites. I found it on uh, deviantart.com and uh, this is what I'm going to use for this tutorial. At the end, uh, we would see how our toolbar looks on various other backgrounds as well. So let's get started. The first thing that we would do is um, select our rounded rectangle tool, which is placed here. Right. And then we would make our radius to be 25 pixel. Um, the radius sets the um, the amount of rounded rectangular, co uh, you know, rectangular corner that our um, rectangle will have. So just let's make it to 25 pixel. Uh, make sure your uh, foreground color is white because that is what we want the shape to be originally filled with. And then let's go ahead and create a neat, uh, a neat small toolbar again the size of this toolbar depends on how many uh, menu items that you want to have on it um, for this uh, demo I would be having only four links and one tiny search bar so I haven't made it little long so if you have you know lots of uh, elements you can go ahead and make it make it larger or shorter or however you wish um, Right, so the next thing that we would do is apply shape styles to this layer. We would do that by double clicking on the layer, which opens up our blending options. Um, after that, we would reduce the fill opacity to around 30%. Now, if you can see, it has immediately made my uh, shape, you know, almost transparent. And this is really helpful for giving a very glass kind of effect. The next thing that I would do is apply a stroke on it of color. I'll just take white. Um, size probably I'll have it 2 pixel. Position it in the center. Opacity I'll give it around 70%. You know again these numbers that um, I'm setting. It is all based on um, uh, personal preference. You know play with play with the numbers you don't really have to stick to a number you you need to you know increase or decrease and see whatever looks good for that shape at that time um right so after giving it a stroke i would then give it a nice neat drop shadow i wouldn't want it too high so i'm just giving it three pixel size and distance of two i think we should be done right so now this is how my uh, toolbar looks. I would then create a new layer. Oopsie. I think the uh, stroke is a little bright. So let's go and make reduce the opacity of the stroke to around 46 pixels. So now I would create uh, a new layer. Select my rectangular mark you tool. It is right here. And after that, go ahead and select the top. Uh, half of our uh, toolbar and then uh, we would press uh, Control shift alt from our windows keyboard and click on the um, the thumbnail representing uh, the shape layer like this so what this does is uh, it crops the selection um, to the, sh the to the shape so um, what we would do is uh, we would quickly grab our paint bucket tool set the foreground color to white and then uh, fill um, the shape with the white tool and then um, control um, D to deselect it. So this is how our glass bar uh, would look. Um, one, um, one, you can say, you know, a, a trick that, uh, you know, we I usually follow while giving a highlight is that um, once I... Um, I'll just quickly go back to this once the um, you know the selection is clipped to my shape what I would do is I would go to select I would click modify and I would contract the selection by some number of pixels so this adds that that heightened effect to the glass so this is what I'm going to do right now I'm going to contract my selection by three pixels you know you can see that it has become little smaller than uh, for little smaller by three pixels and to this I'm going to add um, a white um, 
color so now it looks little high and little shiny so our toolbar is already looking shiny and we would just um, reduce the fill of this shine to maybe 56 60 percent um, yeah so we have the base of our toolbar ready the next thing that we would do is add um, some text we would we would create a new layer you know select the text tool convert the uh, foreground color to black and type I would not make um, many um, menu items I would just make four of them again um, you need to you know make sure that these are positioned properly alrighty I think we're done I would just uh, make sure they're aligned properly and move them a little down right this looks good after that I would um, create an, a neat search bar for the search bar we would select our rounded rectangle tool again but this time we would make our um, pixels um, you know we would make our radius to be around 15 pixel wide so we would again set our foreground color to white and then draw a search bar you know we can position this uh, wherever we want by holding on to the sh uh, space this has already inherited the properties um, the shape styles of the previous shape so we would just clear the layer style and then we would add our new layer styles to it what we would do is first we would give it a color overlay we are going to fill it with a very light gray color um, I would go for E4, E4 and E4 then I would give it a stroke of a um, little dark gray I have, I have taken 5.9, 5.9 and 5.9 here the size would be 1 and I would position it in the center opacity around 80% then I would give it an inner shadow of um, I'm just going to keep it small so distance and size would be 2 pixel and opacity a little less and we are almost done so after this I'm going to make a new layer select my um, custom shape tool here um, this is the custom shape tool and after that I'm going to select um, my shape I'm going to you know quickly search for my oh great Oh, finally, I'm going to search for my um, search tool, magnifying glass, and going to draw. Don't make it too large, you know, it, it has to look um, smaller than the rest of the elements. And position it uh, neatly inside. You know, the shapes have a tendency to inherit the uh, layer styles of the shape before it. So you need to like go and give them their own shape. Color overlay, I'm going to make a little dark gray. And we're almost done. The last thing that I would add is um, a placeholder text for our search bar. So I would um, grab my text tool again, type search and um, convert the color of this text again to a little dark gray great um, so yeah this is how it looks now we would um, I think we could just align these uh, menu items a little move them towards the right so that they are centered aligned um, yeah, so now we would see how our toolbar looks on various other um, backgrounds as well. Um, this is uh, how it looks on an wooden background and this is how it looks on um, another wooden background. I um, 
yeah um you can you know apply lots of other tweaks as well you can play around with the shine you can use a pen tool to add a curved shine on it you know possibilities are endless but um for this tutorial this is what i'm gonna stop and um i hope you had fun and thanks for watching